Brent Griswold again uh, in the clean room, uh, getting ready to show how to uh, work on the uh, 316 stainless steel medium power frame, uh, the rotating assembly. Uh, Wayne's going to take it from here. Okay, we have our bearing housing, which we've uh, pre-painted since it is a rotating assembly. We don't want to paint it with bearings on there. So we got our lab seal. So you want to put just a little bit of lube on the O-ring and the lab seal. So it slides in easy and doesn't tear up the O-ring. Now there's a uh, word top up here. It's indicating that uh, that is the top of the, uh, the bearing housing. And we have a small relief hole in the lab seal itself. That's gonna go directly facing away from the top. So it's gonna fit just like that there. And we have our press here, bring it down and uh, press the seal in, just like that, and that's where we're at in this. Okay, then we uh, take it over here to our, our fixture here, and I'll flip it upside down, lay it on the upside down and the reason we use this particular type of um, thing is uh, you don't want to try to push that uh, shaft through this without it having some kind of a support so we have a small enough hole that this is where it's going to rest first thing I like to do is I put my o-ring on because uh, I tend to forget that if you don't put that on right away you don't have to loop that, they can do that in the field. Keep our uh, all our nuts and bolts ready. The next thing we do is get our shaft. This shaft is a, uh, a 24,001 02 uh, 31A rotating assembly. It's a, a solid shaft. This does okay, next thing I do is I want to lube the inside of this bearing housing. I don't need to use too much. It should slide down easily. And you're going to lube that little O-ring inside. Okay, we have a little key that we've ground down round fits right in the shaft here that way you don't cut up that o-ring as you slide on that uh, slide it through that bearing housing it's a little tool we made we just round out a key you pick it up careful not to drop that thing in there and move it just like that most of the time it'll push down but if it don't if it's cold and it doesn't do it you can get a little persuader Something soft and not to mess up threads. And you probably heard it uh, bottom up. Okay, you want to make sure you get it below this little keyway in here where you're going to put that snap ring in. Now, the snap ring is a tight fit, so you got to kind of Push it past that first bearing. All right, this snap ring, they have a, um, a, a little oil thing that goes uh, through there. You don't want to cover that, that little uh, passageway with the snap ring. You want to keep it right at the opening of the snap ring. sure that it's
snap ring installed, pretty much a done deal. Make sure that you keep that, that opening open. Then, we'll lay it on its side. And we have our adjustment bolts, nuts and bolts. These here will be installed in, in the bearing housing. Okay, next thing we do is we install a, a key. Just lay it right in there in the keyway. Piece of tape. We'll hold it on. 